Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making sheet pan chicken and vegetables. All right, I'm starting out here with a sheet pan. I have lined with some parchment paper, and I have my vegetables on here. I've roughly about two pounds of red skin potatoes. I cut into about a half hour cooking time size. I have some sweet pe peppers here. These are along the lines of a bell pepper. There's no heat to them, and I have some asparagus. So I'm going to go ahead and spray all this down with some olive oil. So I'm going to grab a pair of tongs. And I'm just going to move this around to coat it in oil. And guys, it's a really quick, easy weeknight meal. The hardest part about this is cutting up the vegetables. And that's really not that hard at all. Alright, now I'm using this McCormick's One Sheet Pan. This is Farmer's Market Chicken and Vegetables. They have three different varieties. I got this at Walmart. I'm going to season my vegetables up with this. And that has a good herby smell to it. Now this calls for one pack, but I got two because I want extra seasoning on my chicken and vegetables. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss these around in there. Try to mix everybody up a little bit. More seasoning. You probably could get away with one pack because that's a lot of seasoning. But like I says, I want I want everything well seasoned. I'm gonna finish this pack off on the vegetables, and I have another pack for the chicken. And this stuff wasn't really that expensive. If I remember correct, it was under two dollars a pack. And like I says, you could use one pack. You don't have to use two. All right, now I'm going to clear a spot in the middle here because we're going to get our chicken in here. Now I have three large chicken breasts. I'm going to place right down in the middle. And the juice from the chicken will also season the vegetables and the vegetables will season the chicken. Get all of our colors spread around, they're pretty. I'm going to put a little more olive oil on the chicken. And I'm going to open up that other pack of seasoning. And I'm going to put a nice coating on the chicken. And the other seasonings they have is like a uh, mesquite barbecue, that's for like pork. And they have uh, I forgot what the third one is, guys, but it's a, a good seasoning. They only have three of them that I could find. They have more at your major grocery store, but Walmart only had three. And I'm just going to sprinkle the excess seasoning around. Like I said, as you can see, one pack would have been enough. So next time we do this, we may just use one pack. And I'll just save that little bit for something else. That would be good for seasoning spaghetti sauce. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this in a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes till my chicken reaches 165 degrees internally. I'll be putting a meat thermometer in to check it and my vegetables are tender. Alright guys, my chicken just came out of the oven. It's at about 170. See how my vegetables are all nice and roasted. Just ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, let me get in here and give this a try. And I took a half of a breast for a serving because those things are gargantuan. Mm. Nice and tender, moist. That seasoning is really good, guys. It almost tastes like Thanksgiving turkey. What, Dexter? It's a pork chop. I'm going to try my vegetables. Excuse me while I chew. Vegetables are tender. That's really delicious, guys. It took about 40 minutes because I had them big chicken breasts crowded on there. But if you'd only have one or two separated, it would only take about a half hour. So before I close this video, remember to share this on your social media, guys. Help me get my channel out there. All right, there you have it. Cheap pan chicken and vegetables. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you.